And you're welcome back. This is TV3 New Day, and we're glad that you stuck and stayed with us. We're streaming live on Facebook at TV3 Ghana. So please um, spread the word and let people join us. But also you can watch us on DSTV channel 279. And for any share of opinions or questions, please remember to add the hashtag TV3 New Day. It is Thursday morning, and so it's time for the women to take center stage and discuss all the pertinent issues. Uh, but before I introduce them, just a reminder that Cash Out is happening. You can win 1,000 Ghana CDs this morning by just playing. All you have to do is to dial star 439 hash, select option two, and just wait to win. Remember, you have to be an MTN subscriber, by the way. So please go ahead and play as many times as possible. Joining me in the studios this morning, we missed her last week, but she's back this week. Nanaya Achimpim Jantua is the General Secretary for the CPP. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Fine. Good to have you back. How was last week? We, we didn't have you in the studios. Yeah, I had to do a few things, but mm. I have left undone for a very long time. Mm. So I needed to put some pieces together okay. to make it a whole. Well, we're glad you're back. Everybody was asking where you were. Oh, I'm but sure. this will be her second time joining us in the studios this week as well. The first time was just about two days ago when we were uh, talking about the book launch of former president, the late former president. May his soul continue to rest in perfect peace. Um, his Excellency John Atta Mills. And well, she's back again this morning. She's a former minister for gender Children and Social Protection. Nana Oye Bampo Ado joins us. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, How are you doing? doing? Not bad at all. How are you Great. doing as well? Fine. Love the black and white and, and all I love that. Red. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. My but favorite but color. Is it? Yes. Oh, so I'm scoring some points Flaming. this morning. Yeah. Yes. Hey, go me, go me, go, go me. But good to have both of you in the studios. <laughs> We're also expecting Madame Frances Siam to join us this morning. And so if you're close to her, let her know that her seat is waiting for her. But let's get into the conversation. And on the back of um, that earlier interaction between Nasha called Roland Walker and residents in Mepe in the Volta region who have been displaced as a result of the spillage of water from the Akosombo Dam. There are calls for the declaration of a state of emergency. Former President John Dramani Mahama put out a statement on his Facebook page yesterday. Let's quickly take a look at that and we'll ask you what you think about it. So I quote, it is clear that the scope and scale of the flooding of communities along the Volta River is bigger than our crippled economy can bear. And he continues to say, I recommend to government to declare a state of emergency in the affected areas and request relief assistance from our bilateral and multilateral partners immediately. Do you agree with that? Well, disaster prevention specialist and security analyst Dr. Ishmael Norman has been speaking on this. He says he doesn't even think the president will go ahead and declare a state of emergency. Let's listen to him quickly and our guest will speak. It's a world, but the president won't do it. Look, going by his history, uh, Alfred, during COVID, he didn't use the Emergency Powers Act of 1994 at 471, I believe, and Article 31 of the 1992 Constitution. And the reason why he wouldn't declare uh, a state of emergency, even a regional state of emergency, is because it entails a lot. You remember that he used Executive Instrument 61, that's when he started. And then at uh, 10, uh, 30 or so, uh, at 10, 12 uh, of 2020, to declare a health emergency. Not even, not even a state of emergency, but a health emergency, meaning that other considerations were not important, even though the COVID was a massive uh, disruption to activity everywhere. So in this situation, with the flooding, with the with the spillage and the flooding, he is not going to declare a state of emergency, not even a regional state of emergency. He will come out with an executive instrument that will allow him to perform without responding, reporting to the parliament because the modalities for state of emergency are very technical. And you know, our president doesn't like to be controlled by the laws too much. Dr. Ishmael Norman is a disaster prevention specialist. He's also a security analyst. No, no, oh yeah, I saw you nodding to yes. what he was saying. So yes. you don't think that the president will still go ahead and declare? I doubt. Um, what he's saying is perfectly right. Mm. And when and I I support 
the former president John Dramani Mahama in his call for a state of emergency to be declared. If you read the Constitution clearly, Article 31 9, mm. you'd realize that yes, a disaster has occurred. And it talks about the fact that where we have communities where the essentials of life, the essentials of life cannot be provided, mm. then a state of emergency ought to be declared. Okay. So that the government can kick in, parliament can kick in. And what our security experts said was is exactly the truth that once a state of um, emergency is to be declared mm. or the process is kicking, the president is under a legal or constitutional obligation to pre present the facts mm -hmm. of what has occurred to parliament. Mm. And obviously, he may not want to be open to scrutiny. Why? I don't know, because why is it that up till today, we haven't had government... Um, uh, coming up with a press conference. We haven't had a press conference and a media briefing. Ideally, with the magnitude of what has occurred, mm. uh, some say seven districts, yeah. three regions, Greater mm -hmm. Accra region, Eastern region, Volta region, three out of the 16 regions adversely affected. Now we're told even eight, because if you look at the um, flow of the White Volta, yes. Red Volta, White yes. Volta into the Volta River, a lot more regions yes. have been affected. And then we have some, uh, there are seven districts, five mm -hmm. districts, we don't know. We hear 26,000 people displaced. In other reports, they say 12,000. In mm -hmm. other reports, 14,000. VRA says they've given, is it 12 million? But TV3 has interviewed um, the, those who are adversely affected mm -hmm. on the ground, they are saying they haven't, some say they have not received anything and um, they, they don't even have mattresses. Mm. So we have a duty as Ghanaians to know exactly what is happening. And that is why we have the Information Services Department and we have the Ministry of Information and an Information Minister, upon, Honorable Opong Nkrumah, it's been how many days mm. and not a single press conference or media briefing has been held. Not a single one. But the president has visited some of the Well, the president, president has presidents. visited, but what did he talk about? He rather um, muddied the waters and was mm. so insensitive and actually insulted. This was what the president did. He, uh, his visit did not achieve anything. It well, was just a, a, a media blitz, and he actually worsened the situation. Was it not a joke that was misconstrued? It was not a joke that was misconstrued. He spoke out of context. He insulted the communities, and he showed clearly that he didn't empathize with them. Why would the issue of who voted for who come in, if even it was a joke? Mm. This is a situation where... 25% of a community you are visiting has been submerged. This gentleman was telling us how he is a teacher. He went to work. Mm -hmm. He came back. His house was totally submerged. He couldn't pick a pin. Mm. His elderly mother was saved. And as the president of the Republic of Ghana, you go and, 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 and visit or you, you pay a visit a working visit, mm -hmm. and the, what you can think about is who voted for who. The president, Nana Dodanko, he has checked out. He's just enjoying himself in his ivory tower. So the least said about him, we, Ghana, nobody in Ghana should even think that they have a president because the guy has checked out. He has even said that mm -hmm. he's waiting for his successor to sort solve the problems. So this, the guy has checked out. It is obvious. He's living in his ivory tower in his own world, enjoying himself, unfortunately. No, 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 no. So let's come back. Okay. We who care, we who care for the people of Ghana and the people of the three regions who are adversely affected. Let's talk business. Mm -hmm. What we're saying is that even when there was COVID and there were calls for the president and the MPP government to, um, uh, to, to declare a state of emergency, they refused. Mm. It's all about the, 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 they don't want to be accountable to the people of Ghana. 
Because if you declare a state of emergency, then certain procedures have to uh, come in place. And one key one is parliament. One key one is telling us the facts mm. of what has happened and then being accountable for the monies you are going to spend and the interventions you are going to make to address the situation mm -hmm. of the flooding, um, the commercial activities, hotels and recreational facilities, um, um, their businesses, I mean, their, 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 um, their facilities are submerged, mm -hmm. um, cages, fish cages, fish um, is also destroyed. Yeah. So there's a lot of commercial activity. There are a lot of commercial losses, economic activities. And we, are not, we haven't even looked at that aspect of it. Mm. So loss of employment, loss of um, capital, submerging of uh, facilities of re recreational um, uh, hotels and I businesses along yeah. there, and then submerging of um, and displacement of people. Mm -hmm. And there are so many issues. And we, we have to know because if I mean, you have launched um, um, a fund yes. um, and, and others too. So if you know, if we know the facts, then then people can actually contribute and then we can work towards addressing the situation. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are VRA projections? They are busy. VRA is busily trying to absolve itself, um, categorizing what has happened as a natural disaster and all that. And Ghanaians, as we speak now, do not have the facts mm. of why in September, when the spillage started, yeah. it was slow and mm -hmm. things were okay. What happened in... Um, what happened post-September for us to have this flood? Mm. What were the readings and all that? And why would VRA start and say, we are not to be blamed? You, you carried out um, a sensitization and yeah. communication. The people on the ground are saying, no, they are not aware. Okay. The chiefs are saying they were not aware. So the government has to, one, mm. we need to have... There should be a press conference, okay. media briefing. We need to know the facts. Okay. Two, state of emergency should be declared so that we know exactly what interventions and what actions government is going to take. Three, as a former minister for gender, children, and social protection, I am recommending to the government of Ghana to kick in emergency leap. Mm. Under our regulations, under our programs, there is emergency leap where when there's a disaster or humanitarian disaster of such proportions, mm -hmm. the government can take funds from the Directorate of Social Protection yeah. under the Ministry of Gender and use that to give some money, to pay some money to those who are adversely affected. Okay. We also, um, the NDC government in 2015 also set up the household registry, the Ghana National Household Registry. And at the household registry can go on site okay. with NADMO and actually take details of those affected. And then the emergency leap can be rolled out and mm. they can be given some money for the next four months. Okay. So this is this is already the end. The interministerial um, committee should. I recommend that the Ministry of Gender, um, Gender, Children and Social Protection should be made a member of, of this committee. interministerial. It's very because of the social protection and humanitarian aspect, inter aspect okay. of it. All right. Thank you so much. But Nanaya, I mean, so do you then agree with Nana Oyebampo that at this point there should be or there should have been a declaration of a state emergency? Bella, thank you very much. Good morning to your viewers. Good morning um, to my CPP comrades. Uh, good morning to my friends and everybody out there. Um, good morning to my sister. Good morning, Na Na my dear. Na Na How are you, my I'm dear? I'm fine. And good morning, Bella. Today good I'm morning, great. Auntie. Uh, thank you very much. Sweetheart, you know what? <laughs> this country, there is no plan. There's a total system collapse. Mm. Do you get me? At this time, I don't think the government even knows what they have to do. Because Why do you say that? What are they doing? The president has visited. Yesterday, see, the vice president please, went there and donated $160,000 in the cities. Only. How much money did he use on his, this thing? The superdelegates. How much money? All the rumors you were hearing. Mm, but those so, are rumors. No, no, but the point is that people collect it. I mean, got something. Whether rumors or not, is that only? 
I mean, the way that he went, it is his responsibility. You shouldn't thank him for donating money. He shouldn't even go donating money. He should go there with a plan. Hmm. A plan to make the people okay. By now, we should have a plan in place that will tell us how they are going to deal with the situation, mm -hmm. how they are going to make sure businesses are resuscitated, how they are going to make sure that the people, if they don't want to leave, what are they going to do to ensure that the people are okay? He says government has a plan Where is, to provide see, relief items. Please, it is not just relief items. People have lost their homes. How, what are you going to do within a certain the framework? What time period? Are you going to help them get their homes back? Mm. How are you going to make sure that the place is dry? Bring us a plan. You have technical people, you have engineers. Do you get mm. me? This government is approaching this serious matter they, the same way they have approached the economy of this mm. nation. And we are where we are today. In a lackadaisical manner. A manner that has no frame or purpose. And that is how they are approaching this matter. Bella, this is a very serious thing. A state of emergency, yes, but I do not agree with former president um, Mahama Mahama. that we should get donor support. You don't agree with that? Why? No, why? Why should you go and get donor support? The government should find money. Maybe he's saying that on the back of information he might have that we may not have the money. We should find money. From where? Uh, what money are they going to use for their Congress? The Congress, they should hold on. What money are they going to use for their Congress? No, no, but that's party. It does not matter. The mm. party is in power. Mm. And who do they expect to vote for? There's no Ghanaians. If it is party, you don't dichotomize party in power from party. Mm. There, there's a party in power. And once there's a party in power, it is holistic. And is government telling us that we should go, we should go and get support from outside? Are we always there begging? I agree with the portion. It ends with where he says that we should call a state of emergency to know exactly what is going on. Mm. But to say that we should go for support outside, we, we do not agree. Because if it's a CPP government, that's not what we are going to what do. What would you have done? We would ensure, even this wouldn't even have happened. Because you see, Kwame Nkrumah, when the dam was built, mm -hmm. had a second face. Mm. And when he was overthrown, nobody looked at that second face. That second face made a plan for such incidents mm. that when you have to spill beyond what the area can take it will go back or even when you spill it will revert back to source mm. and whatever water goes into that source mm -hmm. will be used for irrigation around the catchment and mm. nobody really no government after Kwame Nkrumah really looked at it and I think it is time for us to remodify mm. the dam I'll let you hold on on this. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll let you speak on this shortly. But let's quickly take a look at a story on this matter. And then we'll continue. And Anaya will continue with her point on what we should have done um, to remodify the Akosombo Dam. Three Foundation is a sustainability and corporate social responsibility management structure for media general with a commitment to enriching lives and empowering Ghanaians with interventions in health, education and community development. Head of Three Foundation, Gillian Heathcote, says the creation of the fund has become necessary to provide a platform for others to reach out to the vulnerable. Three Foundation and Media General are saying that for those of us out there who can contribute um, building materials, food, medicines, we understand that uh, the hospital had to shut down because of the situation. And we can imagine what the hospital um, will be going through. The textile industries, people have lost their um, entire clothing. She has appealed to the public to support the worthy cause. For um, pe people who, want, who have their own widow's minds and they want to uh, give donations, um, they can do so through uh, a Three Foundation official account, which is 059-743-3110. We have a merchant uh, uh, number, which is 120-494, under the merchant name Three Foundation. And for persons who would want to make some further inquiries about our Dam's Village Relief Fund, they can call 
0242-126282 to reach the corporate uh, communication department of media general and we'll be too happy to direct them as to what to do. The spillage has displaced thousands with women and children most affected. Sustainability and corporate social responsibility management structure for media general with a commitment to enriching lives and empowering Ghanaians with the interventions in health, education and community development. Head of three all right, and we hope that you contribute uh, to support all the displaced victims of the water spillage from the Akosombo Dam. Um, but let's carry on with our conversation. And joining <coughs> us this morning as well, we also have the former managing director of the Ghana Cylinder Manufacturing Company, Frances Asiam, in the studios with us. Good morning. Good morning, Bella. Thank you for joining us. Thank and you. You look nice. Anyway, so we're talking about the remodeling of the Akosombo Dam. Can we carry on with that? I, I think there's a need for us to go back to the original plan and see how it can be remodeled mm. for us to ensure that these things do not happen. But Bella, you see, the point is that where is VRA in all this? Mm. You see, we talk government, we talk government, but within the government structure, there are people within the public service who are technical people who are supposed to advise. And these people are engineers. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. When you do a flow chart, when we were, I was in PRC, there was a flow chart that we always monitored to see how bad the spillage would be. And it was done gradual. Sometimes we do it and it's not even noticed. So who left their job undone for this to happen? Mm. So it is as if they have spilled, I mean, at once, without doing it gradually. They, they started with a controlled spillage in September. Then this second one, they said there was excessive rainfall. No, but it is time. Excessive rainfall, if you don't have, I mean, some amount of water already mm -hmm. excessive rainfall would not let this happen do you get me mm. it means that whatever mm -hmm. water that was there was a lot already they were doing a controlled spillage. no but the control spillage how were you there and what time did you start mm. because you should have in mind the forecast that by a certain time it is going to rain in this manner mm. and they were in 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 in, in, in talks or they were always talking to the met metro Meteorological metro agencies. I've never been able metro, to say. Ghana Meteor Agency. Ghana Meteor Agency. Yes. It's always been like that. For 60-something years that this dam has been there, they always talk to make sure. Do you understand? Mm. So who didn't do their work for this to happen? Let's put the politics aside and look at the people. Mm. How the people are suffering. To lose your home is not an easy thing. I have been through it before. I know what it is to lose a home where you live. To relocate, to resettle is not an easy thing. Even the psychological trauma that goes with it. The thing that you lose when you move, when you are forced to move, you lose stuff. Because wherever you are going, it won't be like home. So where are we even going to resettle these people? But for me, fundamentally, how did this happen? Mm. And that is what we have to look at. You see what the <laughs> president said at the place. Yes, you are saying he said it in jest. It's possible he said it in jest. But the point is that in this our um, political dispensation, the kind of electoral architecture that we have, it is about numbers. Mm. It is not about electoral college. If it is about electoral college, then you can judge somebody and say that you do not vote for me. But as long as it is numbers, you cannot judge anybody. Because whatever number that I give you from my region, it is part of what you got. Mm. Granted that in 2020, the 100,000 that the MPP got, if it was taken out of their vote, what would have happened? It is possible maybe we would have even gone for a second round. So that 100,000 that they got, the MPP got in the Volta region, put them in power. It is not an electoral college where you say that the number of regions that you get or the number of states that you get Plus, maybe one major state will make you the winner. No. This is a numbers game. So you do not underestimate any region and say you don't vote for me. You don't. Because the NDC has the Ashanti region. They get 600,000. Yeah. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. And Ashanti region is not their stronghold. Yeah. Let's take that number out of their numbers. What will happen? Mm -hmm. Granted that today, me and you, we are having an election. You are, we are on different party levels, mm -hmm. and you get 50%, I get 50%. But somebody, mm, somebody 
who is not within my stronghold, one person mm -hmm. votes for you. You get 50 plus one, I get 50. And you have one. But the person who voted for you is not from your stronghold. So it's about a numbers thing. So nobody can say, oh, these people are not my people. Those, no, it is wrong. You don't even have to say. Under that circumstance, you need to empathize. You need to let the people see that you are a father. You see, what he did was that it is like your, your son didn't do well in school because you've been harming him, learn, learn, learn. And you just jest him and say that when we saw Anyade, you made me speak to you. Do you get me? Yeah. <clears throat> and that is not right. I mean, let's put everything aside. You might be jesting, but that is not the time for you to do that. Mm. People are hurting. They laughed. They smiled. But it does not mean they were happy. Mm. Bella, we need a solution to what is going on right now. What do you think the solutions should be? First of all, should heads roll from the VRA? I, I was going to say that the VRA, they should sack people from VRA. Do you get me? Mm. I hear that the people who work around the dam, the young ones, gave an indication that if they do not start spilling early, as far back as June, mm. we will uh, experience something like this. And nobody did anything. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. There is a minister for energy. But yeah. that minister for energy, it is not his job to ensure that this is done. The technical people should advise him. Do you get me? You don't think that he also had a role to play in this? Because if you say if it's not he's, his job to ensure this is he's done. He's not an engineer. Exactly. But then please, I'm his coming. ministry also uh, please, overlooks all I've this. I've been no? in that sector before. Okay. So I know what I'm talking about. Okay. You, you as a minister mm, or as a head of a place, you should be advised. I will tell you something, eh? Maybe I don't have to say it. Go ahead and say it. We want to understand what you mean by the energy minister's head should not rule in this case as well. No, no, I am just saying that the minister mm, mm -hmm. has to be advised. By who? By the technical people. Look, when we were in Doomsoy, somebody advised that, oh, the rains will come. Mm? Mm -hmm. The good thing is that there was a PURC that is an advisor to government. And my former boss, Mr. Samuel Sapon, engineer Samuel Sapon, a great engineer, excellent. Good morning, Mr. Sapon. Knew that it was untrue because he had expertise. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Yeah. So he counter advised and said it is not true and showed evidence that we cannot rely on the dam, and he had all the evidence to show. So if you don't have somebody like that in the sector, who would counter the technocrats, the engineers, you might have a problem. I am speaking as a person, not a politician. But, but are you saying then that they are not competent? And um, it is not about competence. It is about who does what. They are competent because they are engineers. They know the system. Mm -hmm. But who is committed to what? Who wants what to happen? Do you get me? Yeah, if I can come in, I mean, um, the Just minister is ultimately responsible. You think he's responsible? The okay. minister is ultimately responsible and accountable. So we cannot say that engineers have to advise him. Otherwise, I mean, like basically that because he's not an engineer, Mm -hmm. He may not know. I mean, even if you're not an engineer, you are ultimately responsible. You should have your flow chart. Exactly. And you should have your plan. Mm -hmm. I mean, your work plan for your ministry. <coughs> and then at the requisite intervals, you find out what is what? happening and you get a briefing. Okay. So, I mean, uh -huh. that means, no, no, was it no, no, so a, I, I, a square plug I, in a round no, no, hole? No, 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 okay. Like, Are we questioning? No, I like that. Okay. You his have, capability you, no, and his competency? You, you see, okay. You then have, I please carry on then. Have, so, Francesca, can you please? a briefing. Mm -hmm. I like that word. You, if you are working there, you have a briefing. But at least you should have a fair idea that, of the I'm ministry that, that you run. You have a briefing. You have a fair idea. You have so many sectors you are working with, but you have a briefing. You see, when it comes to these things, you know, every, every, she's been a minister before. You have a briefing. Mm. Who, because you see, the people there at the ground <coughs> brief the people at the top mm -hmm. that let's start spilling early. A, B, C, D. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so if we start spelling early, it should be gradual. Once you start spelling early, you have the capacity and the time to be, for it to be gradual. Okay. Do you get me? But if you don't start early, then you are under pressure to do what? To spill. So you spill more, you open more gates and you spill more. So who should so, go? So, so that you do not, listen, so that you do not break the dam and that is a disaster. Mm -hmm. That would be a disaster. Mm -hmm. Now there are two things. We need to look at remodifying the architecture and structure of the Akosumbu Dam. It is key. Very key. Mm -hmm. Number two, the people are very. They are the technical people. The back stops with them mm -hmm. do you get me mm -hmm. because they have to advise whoever and i'm also saying that PURC should start being up and doing because they are in the sector as a regulator the PURC, if you have a strong regulator some of these things when it is happening you have them helping out okay and that is their job because you see if you put the utility you have to put the utilities on their toes you see the the, the purc as an institution has even more power than the minister mm -hmm. do you get me mm -hmm. because they don't report to anybody they are independent commission so they should have the requisite personnel to know about early warning signs and systems should be put in place because they should be able to find out that, look, this is the flow chart. This is what okay. is going to happen. Why are you not spilling? And if, you see, when you go into the various laws, there are, um, there are penalties for not doing for certain this. things. Even okay. PRC hasn't come out to say anything. They should have spoken by now. Of course. They should, because you are the regulator in the sector. Okay. If anything goes wrong, you should be able to deal with it. This one is not ministry, you know. Because this one, it is a sector. You are the regulator making sure VRA, Ghana Gas, ECG, because it will impact on everybody. Mm -hmm. So this is the sector. They should even go and tell the minister that, look, this is what we are seeing. And your agency is not working properly. So deal with it. Okay. Madam Francis, do you think that government has communicated effectively on this disaster? Uh, well, I'll say good morning to our viewers. And I think uh, TV3 owes me an apology because I've been standing outside for about 15 minutes. We apologize. New security measures. After being to, yeah, that, I yes. think that's, that's it because yes. it's unusual. Yes. Normally people will meet me when I yes. come. So anyway, I think then I'm, I'm, I'm settled. That. We apologize. It won't we'll, happen we'll, again. We'll go into that. Okay. New security measures. I understand. Yeah, so I'll say good you morning to our viewers. Thank you so much. <laughs> and everybody is looking sweet. <laughs> hey, mama, na know ye. Bibi Abapo. I don't know if we should switch to Fanti at this point. Oh, no, 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 no. It's an I'm, I'm liking it already. So, oh, no, no. <laughs> you know, Carry because on. we've been on the gender agenda yes. ever since I hear this and uh, Madame Jean Men's and so many, and then we have a lot of collaboration. Okay. okay. Um, I would say strictly, I mean, that this is straightforward. Mm. We are dwelling on heads must rule, heads must rule. What has been the fundamental structure? That Kosovo Dam was not designed to last forever. Mm. You see, there's a time span. So along the line, there must have been some retooling, remodeling. And this thing needs an integrated approach. Uh, the warning signals, because you see, in June, the rains were not as heavy as the flash floods we've been having of late. Mm. Where it can rain heavily, all of a sudden you see clear skies mm. and then it comes whoosh and but surprisingly uh, we're looking first at the tragedy mm. of human lives number one it should be our pre uh, preoccupation number two the health issues are rising i want to take it a uh, bottom top okay health issues are rising what has been the approach mm -hmm. to rescue the situation? What has been the approach for resettlement? What was coming? I think I was hearing some people saying that the Sagle me, they should bring them. So if it happens in Wa, and let's know that it's not only the Volta region. When we talk of the Voltaine Basin, it covers more than that. Mm -hmm. Part, in fact, Kosovo itself is in the eastern region. So the spillover has not affected only water region. So let's look at it, you know, comprehensively. Okay. So that we avoid this 
uh, 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 politicization and due politicization. Is that what's happening? Is, is, is that what is happening? No, I've been listening. Oh, okay. you hold on. You see, the reason why I'm saying that is that I heard somebody even sorting the Queen Mother seriously on another network mm -hmm. that she's not. She, she's not in her right senses. The so, one who didn't understand why we were calling out the president. Uh -huh, yes. Some people, everybody has the opinion. Mm. But coming back to the matter, this pillage has been happening. Mm -hmm. it's, it's coming from Burkina. Yeah. Then it is impacting a lot on the northern, I'm talking of Upper East yes. and the environs. And we that see how farms done. are swamped, houses are swept away with the attendant uh, human loss of lives. This village, like you rightly said, started in September. But are we looking at the fallouts? It's not a question of, uh, uh, Jeff, I'm talking of the CEO mm -hmm. of uh, VRA. VRA, yeah. He's going for what? You see, the, the point is that it's recent. Have you been to JKT before? No, I haven't. You see, these are resettlements on the, uh, you know, ab high above the upper banks. Compensation have been given and communities have been resettled. So I'm saying that over and across time, we need parliament even to come in and declare, I agree with those who say a state of emergency, mm. not only in the Volta region, but along areas in the Eastern region where these things have occurred. Okay. I'm moving from the uh, pedestrian issues. I'm calling looking, for heads to roll? No, no, I'm looking at solutions. Okay. Because we are talking of human lives. We are talking of income. Mm -hmm. We are talking of the poverty and distress levels, even the psychological trauma to the people in the affected areas. But a group of people were let supposed to do their job. They didn't let, do let, it. Let me, they no, should no, step nobody away can from say this, somebody no? didn't do their job, please. But were the signals not there from please, June? Please, madam. Please. If you are saying the signals were not there, they were there. Mm -hmm. Is it the first time that the spillage has occurred? No, Badly. hold on, hold on, mm -hmm. Nanaya, hold on. The reason being that if we look at Libya, for instance, flooding this year, mm. what happened in Libya? Mm. My sister, structures stronger than where we are sitting were swept away by the floods. Mm -hmm. I mean, areas, cities were turned into marshlands. Look across the globe. When you go to some places in the United States of America, right, mm -hmm. and heavy flooding occurs, you, you, you see, the Akoso border is a receptacle. Yeah. Where we generate electricity from. And the water coming in is coming from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So if you have a very heavy overflow of water, my sister, it is, it is not easy. Oh, Had it not been for the dam, which is giving us electricity, and it's a receptacle, you can see that, I mean, from all the place up to Tema, Everything will be submerged under the sea. So I'm saying that we need the solution. Okay. Has the dam outlived its usefulness, number one? Has the, it? I'm, I'm, I'm asking the question. I was hoping you'd answer as no, well. No, no, no. Okay. I'm saying that we have to look at the structural issues, mm -hmm. the fundamental issues, so we don't keep coming back and talking plenty, and then next year it happens again. One, whether you remove the VRA head or not, whether somebody says A or B, there is an issue to be addressed. What are the sh immediate, short term, medium to long term to address this issue? You see, in the electricity, she was talking about, we have, we have the mix mm -hmm. of the hydro mm -hmm. and the thermal. Yeah. And we are seeing that there comes a time when there's drought. And you can't even get water in that water. place. Yes. So is it even possible? For the architecture to be redesigned and remodeled, as she was saying, because beyond that, it will happen every time. But why have we waited till now for no, it I'm to saying happen? That, you before... see, better late than never. This dam was built how many years ago? But we've had the disaster at and least in 2006 and 2010. I'm, I'm so coming. we clearly uh, knew that's, that's, that we it, needed to remodel the architecture. Exactly, dam. more. You're saying what I'm saying. That since this dam was made, it should have been anticipated by policymakers. Uh, for, formulators and implementers of policy looking ahead mm -hmm. what are the unanticipated and what are the uh, anticipated circumstances surrounding this whole dam mm -hmm. it's like look at Kotoka International Airport so can't you envisage that when a plane mm -hmm. 
is coming to land and you don't expand your runway it can you know overshoot and move like you know a local flight went all the way into 37 yeah so all i'm saying is that let us look at the fundamental the structural issues mm -hmm. and begin to address them as a nation because you see when we're looking at the pedestrian issues permits me in quotes we may lose focus on the actual objective because we are free the stage now mm -hmm. my dear it is like you're pregnant you're going to have a baby whether you like it or not it will come out life or otherwise you yourself is 50 50. Mm -hmm. so when we have reached and we are looking at those issues of ktc defense and other coastal issues right and then we are looking at this akosu bodam in particular excuse me yeah. what can be done mm -hmm. a certain committee has been set up mm. what are the timelines how can other agencies like the institute of engineers what do they have to impute mm -hmm. into the whole issue we have the professionals both private and public how are they imputing to the resolution okay. like i said the immediate short term the immediate is the rescue efforts relocation of the people giving them some sustenance so that they can move on because it is their human right that the state supports them mm -hmm. in this time of distress because people's farmlands are gone their homes are gone their livelihoods i'm talking of income if you have a store it's gone schools Everything. have been washed away how will the children go to school the hospitals or if there's a clinic is gone whether private or public where would they the communities where would they be going to attend to their health so but like I said, i'm saying that these are germane issues which need immediate attention okay and will add government and all stakeholders both public and private to go to the aid of the people then when i'm talking of aid you can there's, there's so much that people can give in like aids came and people were contributing and so on like apiate came and people contributed there was some resettlement mm -hmm. they had to move them because even this thing that exploded you may have some uh, uh, some uh, yeah. what do you call it Residual. down there yeah, exactly so all i'm saying is that immediately these are the issues to be addressed okay the ones that affect the human rights of the people to health good health shelter mm -hmm. education and a, a, a meaningful livelihood having put that aside the issues that are moving in the public domain when the president went there mm -hmm. my dear whether it was a jest it was a joke i think you've heard whether I stand to be correct, another year, you say whether it was President Mahama or I don't think it was Professor Mons because mm. he would never go that way. Who said, even if you put gold on the streets of Kumasi, they won't vote for us. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. When they were complaining about some developmental uh, 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 issues, they won't vote for but us. But timing. No, I'm saying that that to the timing was not good yesterday. So if it's not good today, it wasn't good yesterday. So do we agree that the president and should I'm not have that, made reference to no, that no, at no, all? No, 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 no. That is that you can't control what comes out of somebody's mouth. So even if the president has said that, it, may have, it should be put into context. It should be put into context. He addressed the seriousness of the... He had just come back from the U.S. Mm -hmm. Move straight in there. Mm -hmm. Addressed all the serious issues. And said, because... Honorable Jifa Gomashi had said something. A few people in the NDC had said things I don't want to repeat for want of time and to avoid undue politicization. So when you talk to the people as if some disaster has met them, right? And it is a doing of some people to neglect them or not mind them. Mm. So a point will bring up a certain point mm -hmm. and a certain reaction will bring up a certain reaction yeah. as well. So when the Honorable uh, uh, former minister and MP for, I think, a K2, one of these, uh, I don't know, one of these, uh, K2 South or whatever, mm -hmm. said what she said, was it to incite people? What exactly did she say? I said, I won't go in there to avoid undue politicization. I've not mentioned what the president said, mm. if you watch. So at the end of it all, he also said whether it was a jest. 
or it was a joke. Everybody is free to comment anyway. But I'm saying that that should not let us lose focus. Because the president has not said or has not done anything that shows that action is not being taken. And mind you, because these were the heavily impacted areas. But the other areas in the eastern region yeah. where the flooding, the, the spillage, has also caused some flooding, mm. loss of property. So we are talking of immediate relocation, immediate restoration of livelihoods to some extent, even if not 100%, mm. or to the former, uh, if it's not a question of uh, restoration. So all I'm talking about is that I'm not interested in what NDC is saying, what CPP but, but, is saying. But your government has been in power for seven years. If, you listen, if you listen to uh -huh. Honorable Kabna Donko, he talks about uh -huh. a seven-year plan that the NDC had, uh -huh. where they were, it included remodeling of the Akusumbu Dam. Unfortunately, they could not do that. Bella, can I now, ask if, you look, if you look at the seven <laughs> years that the MPP has been in government, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking that, is this conversation something that came up? Do you know something? And why have we not it I started am, it? I'm, I'm, I'm highly amused. Why? When was the Akusumbu Dam built? When these villages begin, so Honorable Kwabena Donko, Uncle Michiel, astute as he is, a former minister a of former, power, a former minister of power, so today he knows would what say he's energy. About. Let me finish. Okay. So, I meaning this remodeling could have been done some all 20 years back because that dam has been in existence as far as the First Republic. And also, you for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, Maya Kosumbo. So I'm saying, that's why I talked about anticipation mm -hmm. and unanticipated, unforeseen circumstances. That is why professionals are there to look at the plan A, plan B. For seven years, I'm coming. If we were to be staying somewhere in Latin America mm -hmm. or on the coastal areas like Florida, in America and so on, eh, where are the hurricanes? Hurricane Frances, one of the worst hurricanes, when it flows, when it helps, mm -hmm. look at places like Japan. Look at earthquake-prone areas, right? Yeah. They have continued and minimized the fallouts. When the tsunamis occurred, whole cities went off. But the human factor is that there will be volcanoes. Mm -hmm. There was some uh, ash flow eruption around the Aquapim area. Yeah. Has anybody spoken about it again? The mudslides. There's also Bagri Dam that happens every year. That's why I'm saying that. The Bagri Dam, they're thinking of irrigation, mm. generating more electricity in collaboration with uh, Burkina. Mm -hmm. So, oh, my dear, has our cost on what leave its usefulness? No. So, if we are to use it, is it possible to get another receptacle and divert some of these waters to wager? Is awaiting. Is this a conversation that this government has even the had? And why have we not started? The conversation has always been had because if you listen to the conversation even surrounding Wager mm -hmm. last year, people move when mm -hmm. it's ready, come back. Yeah. So we are saying that the district assemblies which are closer to the people, what really goes on? Because, my dear, the conversation is that you are the government closest to the people. Mm -hmm. How have the interactions been between assembly members? District Chief Executive, I'm talking of the stakeholders on the ground, even the traditional rulers. So me, as I sit here, I'm not interested in the A or B. I'm interested in the solution because no, no, okay. the solution will avoid future loss of income, potential loss of lives. You look at the Alajo uh, drain, mm. what I'm ending with. Okay. When President Kufo came in, and try to address it. You see that now, it's almost forgotten as taking, you know, dozens of life during heavy rains, isn't it the case? Yeah. And so on and so forth. So I'm saying that as a nation, we move forward. So if MPP is not in power tomorrow, and somebody comes in. But they've been in power for seven years, that going on eight. Bella, and Ghanaians will have extended. No, 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 let me, let me let you come in, please. Let me, let me let you come in. Please hold on, let her come in. I've spent quite a lot of time on you, so if I can come on. One second. All I'm saying is that let's look for solutions. Okay. Whether it's seven years, whether it was 20 years back when the NDC was in power, because this dam has been in existence for a long time. And I'm saying that Jeff will not go today 
He will not go tomorrow. No, no. Do you yes. agree with that? No heads should roll. We should look heads forward. Heads should roll. And uh, the VRA boss should go. He won't go. And the, he will go. He definitely. will not go. No, no. You are not and in power. He, he will, will not go. He will definitely go. He will go. not go. Madam, now, please hold on. No, I'm that saying that. Please, please allow her. Please allow her. You're not that Please allow her. She thinks the he should go. The issue is that she will not go. Madam, please, them. please calm down. But, 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 please, please carry on. No, no, I'll let you come in. Can Nana Oye please speak? Yes. In terms of solution, every public officer involved in this issue has to be held responsible yes. and we must find out the facts of what actually happened but even before i go as uh, francis is saying john dramani mahama former president of ghana never ever Bella, i said I never ever yes. yes so no, i'm I correcting you okay, okay. So, yes. so she's so saying that he didn't she say he didn't no, say no, i'm say correcting it was you said by the ndc okay i'm correcting okay. you it was, said by the it was NDC. never said by it. the it ndc said. okay it was said. It was never said it by the NDC. Yes, yes, yes. Madam Francis, please allow and Nanoye. Yes. It was said. President okay, John she's also Damani making Mahama her statement. Never ever made that statement. And yes, everybody is free to comment about, I mean, in relation to what President Akufado said. But definitely not mm -hmm. the President of the Republic of Ghana. Definitely not. And in that, he was negligent, he was callous, and very petty. Whatever who said, he as president of Ghana, standing in the Mepe, uh, in Mepe community, 25% mm -hmm. of that community submerged, he, must, he should show empathy as the father and the president of Ghana. He did. So even if everybody is free to comment, he as the president of Ghana cannot make that callous mm -hmm. comment especially when he was abroad, when it occurred, he could have even made a statement from the USA where he was. He failed to make a statement. Oh, he man. failed to, within 24 stop. hours, empathize. Stop. 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 And the vice president, stop. Stop. Bawemia, Madam, was acting no. in his stead mm -hmm. when he was away. Why did he not instruct Bawemia to go to the place. This but when Mia just went there, was it yesterday yeah, or so? Yesterday to make Almost a Almost a week after it had occurred. So clearly, the MPP government has shown that it does not care. Oh, it cares. And it manifested in the statement it that cares. President Akufu Addo made about they voting. And you it must cares. recall that that is not the first time mm. he went on radio and spoke insensitively about a plea by a chief in Aflao on um, the state of their SHS. Out he of He made a statement also. So this has been consistent in context. terms of statements he's made, especially with Out respect to problems and infrastructure problems and mm. problems that Volta region NDC, faces. NPP, so Madam Francis, very clear. please, please, please now, hold on. See, Allow her to speak. When you were speaking, she didn't interject. Oh, now, you see, in terms please. of solutions, yes. in terms of solutions, we need to find out what happened. Mm. And we even need to answer the question of whether it was a natural disaster or, or it was not. Mm. Nanaya has spoken about PURC as a regulatory, um, the regulatory body in that sector. Mm. And, 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 and we need to know exactly what happened. That is when we can design appropriate solutions. And so far, the interventions made by the MPP government have failed. They have found field. one thing. Nobody one, died. No press conference. Nobody died. Two. Allow, please allow. Composition of the interministerial committee. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh -huh. Not, I mean, fallacious because we the key institutions that should be part. We've mentioned Institute of Engineers. We've mentioned Ministry of Gender, uh -huh. Children, mm -hmm. and Social Protection. They are all not there. So how are they going to uh, find uh, the solution? Is the Ministry of and, Energy on there? And then they are on there. To, I'm just to, pulling, hold on. To, hold on. Directory. To, okay. to avoid accountability, to avoid accountability, mm -hmm. the MPP government is failing to declare a failed. state of emergency. It hasn't failed. We need, Madam Frances, please. We need solutions mm -hmm. that will address Parliament. the problem. Mm -hmm. And so 
we are stating the solutions. and asking that just like what President Mahama has said, just like what Wengam, Reverend Wengam has said, uh, Assemblies of God, uh, let's declare a state of emergency. Well, well, so, well yesterday the Interministerial Committee met. We're told that they had a meeting and they'll let us know exactly what the way yes. forward is. So maybe we should wait for them. But let me just give you the composition of the committee. Yeah. So we have the Chief of Staff, uh, the Chairperson, Ministers. The Chief of Staff is the Chairperson. Yeah. The Ministers of National Security, See? Interior, Defense, Sanitation, Energy and Finance, Lands and Natural Resources. Very you good. think that even the Gender Ministry should have been included? They must be included because of the humanitarian, because of the crisis and the fact that social protection interventions would have to be provided. Mm. And I'm saying that we have a mechanism called emergency leap. Okay. Um, under NDC, we did that, if you recall, yeah, the you July, uh, the June... Uh, floods and fire that okay. occurred at Kwame Nkrumah. Mm -hmm. And you know, if uh, the, the, some will fall ill, yes, and they need their national health insurance card. So mm -hmm. immediately, what we did as part mm -hmm. of the program was to provide new national health insurance cards okay. so that they could access health care. Mm. So all these are interconnected. And the Social Protection Directorate under the ministry has the expertise to address such situations. So and if you recall, health. there were fires in the markets yeah. um, in uh, 2013 or so. We also um, worked with NADMO to address that. So social protection is a key department okay. that should be involved in, in this, this whole process. All right. And the funds are available under the LEAP program, okay. under emergency LEAP. So for the next three, four months, mm -hmm. There are funds available to provide for the flood victims All right. so that they can resettle comfortably. All right, thank you. Uh, thank you, Lloyd. Let me just add that the Ministry for Local Government, um, <laughs> Works and Housing, Roads and Highways, Environment <laughs> and Information are also part yeah, of it. They all have social protection. The Ghana Department. Medical Association, however, has they made do. a disturbing disclosure. Now they are saying um, that they detected malaria, signs of malaria, diarrhea, and bilharzia in some of these emergency shelters. Yes. And so this is also a major problem yes. that they would have to address. Abella, you yes. me, I'm just amazed. By what? Because you see... Mm -hmm. But the Minister of Health is there. Auntie, please, please hold on, Auntie. Please, you came late, I beg you. Oh, don't, don't say that and let me yeah, flare yeah, up, please. Yeah, please. No, don't. So let's I talk. stood outside well, for 15 when, minutes. When don't do that. Talk, when we were talking, we were all... No, 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 yes. we draw that to another We will take the blame because of the skating measures. No, 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 no. But the point but, is that... But, but, but don't say that. When you were talking. And I so, said, don't so say that I was late. We should, Madam don't Francis, say that. We, we acknowledge, yes. I'm a responsible but person. But there was a security challenge, so that's why. And that's why she couldn't... That's why she couldn't come in. So we were talking... Please... And I'm saying, Nanaya, don't say I came late. Please carry on. Are you focusing the the issue on the security lapse? Madam, please relax. The Don't point, say that. The point is that I am... Um, you want to describe my image in the, the public eye. It the, won't the, work. The point we apologize for the, 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 the delay at the door. I understand. And Nanaya, please carry on. Madam Francis, please. please. Oh. Nanaya, please carry on. <laughs> you said you are amazed by something. Bella, you see, I am just amazed by everything. People are suffering and we have committees. We are waiting for committee reports. Mm. Don't we know what, do you need to have an interministerial committee before you know what you have to do? I'm, I'm asking you. We don't need one? Uh, what, immediately, can't you see what we need? Are there relief efforts going on? I am telling, you see, this is it all. When no, you were no, talking, no, no. nobody spoke. Madam Frances, please allow Listen, her to I'm make her point. I'll give you the chance to also come in and respond to whatever she says. Perfect. Nanaya, please carry on. Because I, me, I am very... The scenes that we are seeing, how long has this thing gone on? <laughs> how long has it gone on? And the fact that you, we are saying that it has happened and we should focus on the problem. If somebody had done their work, this wouldn't have happened. 20 mm. years ago. Do you get me? Yeah. If somebody had done That their is work. why we learn from history. And yeah, so somebody if, should it, have done Madam their work 20 Francis, years please. ago. You see, if somebody had done their work properly, if somebody had made sure that we do the spillage in a gradual manner, you might have an impact, but not an impact as bad as we are It was done gradually from September. Do you, do you get me? Mm. If the timing of June, when the young engineers around the dam said that we can see from forecast, from the flow chart. Which from young engineers? Oh, yeah. please. 
from no, no, please carry on. From if I say young engineers, I know what I'm talking about. For I've been in the set from, no, from, no, from the flow chart. Please, 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 from the flow chart, <laughs> everything that we are seeing. No, 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 no. This is what it is. Let's start spilling early. Look, look, it's let me tell true. you something. Mm -hmm. I am not in the sector now, but yesterday before I am coming to speak, I made a lot of enquiries. It's not mm. true. Do you get me? Yeah. I made a lot of inquiries and wanted to find out exactly what mm. happened. It's not true. Do you understand? Yeah. If it is done gradually, and besides, we should understand this is not a natural disaster. It, it is, is not a force majeure. It is not a force majeure. It is not a natural disaster. It's not a natural disaster. We cannot the, compare a tsunami. Bella, okay. it is not. Don't okay. tell me. I'm telling okay. you that. When things happen. Please allow Nanaya. I will give you the chance to respond. I will give you the chance to respond. Who said it's a natural disaster? Because but the spillage was done by man after rain. Bella, so is it not? It's a natural okay. So, uh, so, so I am so, saying that, mm -hmm. Bella. I am saying that. If your government and Alima had addressed Madam, it, oh, please, with all due respect, today. allow Nanaya you to speak. You want us to do please. politics? We'll po please. do politics. Please, if you do this, you continue to disrupt the show. Yeah, you will get your politics. chance to speak. So please allow her to politics. speak as well. Thank you. So we you. can analyze the government you. after the have first I mentioned, Nanaya, have I mentioned please carry on. the government name. Uh, Ever since I started speaking, I've been speaking technical and public. Yes. No, no, no. Do you get me? No, no, no. I am saying that if somebody had done their work. Since Liman's time. Madam. Please. Mm. Nanaya, carry on. We are listening to you. Auntie, I respect you. I don't want to go the way you are going. Oh, if you go that way, I, I can I, go I beg you. I don't, I don't, I'm not on that level. I can ascend. You. you get me? I can ascend. I Madam, I'm not on that. Please. Yes, please. Oh, it's please. A reaction. Otherwise, then you don't give us a chance to even yes, move on yes, to our next I, topic and we'll yes, have to wrap up. I'm not please. on that level so, with you. Uh, uh, so please don't I can ascend. There. I don't want you to ascend and I don't Nanaya, want to ascend. Nanaya, Nanaya, please, yeah, please carry on with your point. Because she's distracting me. I, I will try and control that as yes. much as possible. So, so, the, so, the, so, so the point Please. is that the point is that eh, this is not a natural disaster. Nobody can akin this to a tsunami or floods that came. That one you can't control it. It's not within your purview. It's not within your domain. There's a tsunami coming. A floods are coming. Rains. It, this one Human beings were supposed to work in a certain manner to make sure that certain things do not happen. Mm. I hear them saying that, oh, we did sensitization around. So where would the people move to? If you had your flow chart and your flow chart told you a certain trend, it even behoves on you mm. to find resettlement areas. Do you get me? Yeah. For instance, the Accra Plains, it is there. We are not using it. Where can we put tents for people to move in as we spill? Yeah. Do you get me? What can we do to protect houses? What can we do to protect the businesses? Look, on your network, on your network, you did a story over 90 million or nine, I think 90 billion worth of uh, businesses mm. have yeah. collapsed. Mm -hmm. Have collapsed because somebody did not do their work. And we don't have to talk about it. We have to talk about it because this concerns human beings. If the right thing had been done, if somebody had worked, the VRA boss, if, because the VRA, that is their, their job, that is their area. Hydro has always been the VRA area before we brought on Thermal. For a very long time, our dependence for electricity, energy was yeah. for hydro, on hydro. Exactly. So VRA should have more expertise in hydro than even Thermal. Mm. And this thing has been happening. Every 10 years, mm -hmm. you do a certain spill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the gravity, mm -hmm. this is worse. Even the inhabitants, old people, everybody is saying that the gravity, the impact of what has happened, this has been one of the worst situations. Because of the rains. Madam, the rains. Madam, please. See Madam, please. Come in okay. okay. We talked about the interministerial committee. Mm -hmm. As we speak now, where is the Minister of Energy? He's in South Africa. Why has the president not recalled their deputy minister? Why mm. has such Why you been pedestrian? You such I will let you. Why please, I will let you come in. I'm sorry. Okay. okay. Why, Why, is is the, the Why is the minister So of you think the minister of energy well, should have been here? Okay. He should have been recalled. Recall okay. From this where? is a serious He's a national assignment. disaster. Okay. Where is the minister of energy? Point me. Point me. Please allow Nanaya to land. Uh, point me. Nanaya, please carry on. You are lost at this point. Yeah, because I mean, because I don't have let, 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 let me you, just you, so you put you, your thoughts together you or your back. You see, you see the point. I know we have to go into cathedral you, you as see well. The point is that Bella, this one, there should be a plan. It's not just interministry. What plan? 
There are plans. Okay. So what, what plan is being put Why in? Why you appear as what plan did you put in place? Okay. Did, Nanaya, did, please land for when me. When I was in Pius, this is, Why did you put did, did it happen? No, 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 there was no, no spilling. So I am saying that as, 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 as this has happened, this mm -hmm. catch you. Do you, as this has happened, mm -hmm. where is the in our time? I was, mm -hmm. you were you were not here. I talked about was I my, my, my my boss. Yo, yeah, I talked about what we did because we made sure, Madam. Please don't make any we, statement. Please. Yes, we made sure. We made sure. That's the right thing is that we made sure that we did all the study. That's we made sure that we were very vigilant to ensure mm -mm. that what is going to happen, mm -mm. how are we going to do? Mm -mm. You forecast. Yeah. Mm -mm. Do you get me? You need to forecast. You need to look out for what is going to happen, looking out for the individuals in the community. Okay. Do you get me? Mm. And I am saying that at this point, where is the plan at all this time that this has happened? Where is the plan to make sure that the people are comfortable? Look, as um, um, Roland was on the field, mm. there are a lot of lamentations coming from the people. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. A lot of lamentations. Yeah. Why are they lamenting? Because they can't see their left from their right. Because they don't, they don't have any help. They even said they didn't understand the simulation. There was no proper the point. exercise to that, prepare them for yes, this. Yes, but that's what I'm saying, that if you have your, your data, your mm. facts, do you get me? Yeah. Then what do you do? You even resettle them outside the area for a period. Mm -hmm. Okay, granted that you are saying that the rains are so bad. Mm? Mm -hmm. You should have your forecast. You are working with the meteor department. You should have your forecast. The rains are so bad. What do you do? Don't you resettle the people yeah. before time? Don't you find areas to put them in and let them take some of their this things? In America, stuff. listen mm -hmm. to me, in America, when there are floods or there are forecasts of floods, people are evacuated out of their house before the floods come. No, but there, there, no, but there are times when people I, actually I, I, lose their property. Can you let me finish? Okay. Oh. There are times that especially the old ladies, they don't want to move. They find okay. a way of what, moving them because they have an affinity to where they live. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So that is what you should do because you should no, because you no, see, no. Bella, we are moving forward. If we say we are going forward in this nation, if we say that we have a government that said that they are coming to change things, they are okay. going to do things differently, then things should be done differently. And we have done for all of yeah, differently in a negative Thank way. Thank the president for moving there. Thank Nanmo ah. for what they've done. And people it are, uh, and people are, 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 are Madam, in this situation. But, but if you say that we should thank the president for moving there, it hasn't receded well, the you water. Say, no, I'm coming. It hasn't Please. prevented no, the disaster from no, no, happening. No, 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 you see, a disaster has happened. But how did it happen? And so do I who did to what lamenting? Okay. Yes, why won't we lament? Because people's are life are sick. All right. And people I, are, let me just read a few comments. I hold a press conference. So, so good like, morning, I Doc. I don't and think so, I can mention your name, uh, like you said, but you he's asking and that so soldiers and helicopters were mobilized pronto to Ashaman to beat Ghanaians. Where's the military's response? Ah. How swift has it been? Were the military not part of the VRA, uh, VRA simulation? in may mr richard kumado says um can you do something about this okay sir we will look at that okay um gisela tete says that uh, gabriella sorry mm -hmm. says that frances looks lovely in her green and black please tell her kufour was president 20 years ago okay well, thank I'm you of 30 years ago and thank then, you then thank you for your message as well uh, gabriella. and a lot more coming in but harry do we have time to go into national cathedral briefly yes let's go into national cathedral at this point and talk about yeah. the statements that has you been see, released government has received a bashing uh -huh. you see we look at the negative and positives i haven't even really introduced the topic no i know you're interested i'm not talking of the cathedral oh okay yeah but why she's she's going on and on and on no, and because on because you have interjected but too many times so that, you've made yeah, your statement no, no no one one brief second all i'm saying is that kudos to the mpp administration okay. that the president moved from the u.s moved to the impacted sites even other areas in the eastern region and so on okay. what have been flooding in the northern region have you even seen the sort of response where the Bagri dam spills? Okay. Do you know what happens to people there? That's Point what I'm made, madam. If the Volta region is the NDC stronghold, it's part of Ghana. Okay. And it will be treated as part of this republic. All right. And not like an alien area. Thank you. The Queen Mother has spoken. The traditional authorities have spoken. Okay. And we are very happy mm -hmm. that they appreciate what government has done and is doing. No and worries. all stakeholders must come together and let's move forward. Thank you. Unlike 40 years ago, uh, 30 years ago. Let's move forward with this conversation as well. Uh, but briefly before that, Media General and Three Foundation are officially mobilizing supplies 
uh, food items, clothing, and other essentials to support our brothers and sisters in the Volta region who have been affected by the spillage. And we need food, clothing, school books, medicine, building materials. I've even seen kids who are sleeping in the open yeah. without uh, mosquito nets. If you can provide that, we'll be grateful so we can donate these items to them. You're welcome to bring your donations to TV3 or you can um, send money if you want to. Um, call us 059-7433-110. Again, 059-7433-110. Also, you can send uh, to our merchants number 120-494-120. 494 and the name on there is three foundation and so please make sure that you reference the donation to akosombo um for the rights donation to be done or the right um Akusumbo. yes akosombo exactly